our first Mooner Colony. And I was gonna I was gonna hire new guys to, to live in the colony, but I figured, you know what? The the people who set who who set up the colony should be Jeb Bob and Bill. And then they can be they can be uh close the alarm and unpause. Okay, we are now. Yeah, the, the people who should set up the colony should be Jeb, Bill, and Bob, and then uh the first time we bring up we bring up uh any sort of resupplies or Whoa! <laughs> here's the crater. No, that isn't the crater. This is up here's the arch. Here's the thing, and then the my little arch head is up there. Uh, close the alarm and unpause. Okay, it's a 48 second burn, which isn't that big of a deal. That means at 24 seconds, we're gonna want to do the burn. So let's go ahead and speed up time until we're at about say 35 seconds. Okay, 24 seconds away from our burn, and this is this is going to be the hardest burn to do. I just realized I should have done a uh, circular or a plane changing burn, but I don't think I actually want that because my uh, thing isn't on the equator. I'm not sure exactly how to handle that the fact that it's not on the equator, but we'll, we'll worry about that when the time comes. And I can't do too many turns here, so I'm just gonna. I should have killed my maneuver node, but what are you gonna do? Yeah, you see the the wobbliness of the station. Um, not a big deal. I mean, these things aren't made out of paper mache like most things on <laughs> that Kerbals make, but, uh, they are not the single most, um, rigid things in the game. Okay. 50 by 50. That's good enough for me. Okay. Get that off the screen. Okay. We have a moon base. Or a moon orbiter, at least. Okay, we have our pylons, but we don't have any fuel lines. Um, and there's a reason for that. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Let's uh, let's get in the sun here. <laughs> Stop wobbling. <laughs> it's so scary. The important thing isn't that we're aimed north or south. It's that we're not aimed east or west. Okay. Uh, who's going to stay up here? Bob, you are going to remain in the cupola, but you got some work to do first. Uh, let's go ahead and let go. Let's turn our RCS on. And I managed to still screw up the rotation of the station, but oh well. Okay, now we're going to come over here. I wish he could grab on to something over here. I wish I would thought to put ladders here. But we're going to open this container. I do not want to grab them. That's very important. Uh, nothing in here do we want. So let's go ahead and close it. And let's open this one. Uh, strut endpoints. That's actually going to be... I'm actually thinking about doing those, but I'm not going to worry about them now. Let's go ahead and close this. Let's open this one. Pipes. Yeah, we're going to want probably eight of these things. And then we're going to attach it. Yeah, it can't go all the way over here. See, the thing is, I I would kind of like to get it attached. I wonder if you can access both of those things. Ah, eh, probably not. Let's go ahead and attach it right there. And I just realized I should hit F5 to save. And let's open this container, take another pipe. Come on, open the container, take another pipe in point. Uh, yeah, see, I'm hitting H to attach. <laughs> I wish I could hit O to open. Oh, I hate that. Okay, well, a good thing and a bad thing happened. The good thing is... Um, I was able to attach uh, eight of these things here. The bad thing is, is I accidentally grabbed this container off of my space station like a moron um, and there's no way to reattach it which is super annoying so uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna switch back to the ship Bill's gonna go out there and he's gonna stay on the ladder and then we're gonna switch to Bob Bob's gonna go and ideally get on the ladder Yeah, it's, I, I find it extremely annoying that you can't reattach these things, but you can grab them. I don't know who thought that was a good idea. 
Um, actually, the Kerbal attachment system is being re uh, re-maintained by the guy. Oh, grab. Is being maintained by the guy who does Kethane. Sorry, I'm like trying to talk and do... When I hit, I hit G instead of F to grab on. Okay, come on. Come on, give me the grab ladder thing. F to grab. Whoa! RCS. <laughs> Whoa, that was kind of crazy. Uh, we need to go down. You know what? Uh, screw it. Okay, I finally got my struts all in place, or my, my pipes all in place. I put one on every power thing. Uh, what you didn't see is I accidentally grabbed one of the boxes, and uh, um, when you grab a box, it allows you, the, the, the mod allows you to grab the box, but it doesn't allow you to put the box back. Um, so I had to reload from that quick save and do all my things. It was after I had placed like seven of the eight things. It was annoying. Okay. Time to get into the cupola. And we're now in there. And it is time now to disconnect our station. So let's go ahead and decouple this. That's going to give us even more Delta V. Um, yeah, 2,000 has got to be enough to land this thing on the moon, even with all the plane changes and everything like that. So, Bill and Jeb are ready to go here. Let's do a landing gear test. Looks pretty good. Now, where is our actual Cathane base? Uh, it's right here? No. I know it's on the far side. It's this crater right here, which is in the shade. So, we're going to have to crank time up here. Okay. And our station is six kilometers away. No bigs. Um, now, what we need to do is we need to do a plane change here. Right here. I believe. And we need to go south to bring this thing north. So he's right over the base, which looks pretty good. I'm also curious, is this, if I do this, is it more or less? It's actually more, huh. But anyway, I want to do that so that we, we stay at 50. So let's go ahead and get aimed at that. Oh, this thing controls so much better now. Okay, and let's crank up time. We have no idea how long the burn is, but it can't be that long. With that whole station and everything, 162 would have been far less than a minute. So I'm going to guess it's going to be about a 20 second burn, give or take. Um, That's weird. It didn't put the maneuver... Oh, it deleted the maneuver alarm. Duh. So let's go down to about 30 seconds. Whoa. Let's do a test burn here. Yeah, looks like it's going to be about a 20 second burn, like I figured, so let's do it now. Oh, there's Kerbin. Yeah, I've got solar panels on this guy, so he's not going to, he's not in any fear of running out of charge. Even with those solar panels on the other thing docked. I hate how this thing always, every time I change views... Probably doesn't need to be this exact, to be honest. Okay, so there's that. And now, as soon as the sun rises, which is going to be right around here, we're going to want to bring ourselves down. Looks pretty good. Maybe a little south. There we go. Okay, so let's get lined up with that and see if we're in the sun. Because that's important. Actually, it's not super important. But actually, it is important because uh, these engines don't generate thrust. Um, we're getting a little bit of sun. A tiny, tiny bit of sun. 
That's all we need is a tiny, tiny bit of sun. Okay. So we are 24 minutes from our thing here. Let's go into free mode. We'll watch the sun rise over here. Uh, we are two minutes from our node. We've got plenty of electric charge, so I don't think we need to worry about that. It's a six second burn. Oh, whoa, whoa. okay. I fail at plan orbital maneuver. Okay. Coming in for our final approach. That looks pretty darn good. I think I'm just going to go with that. Okay. How long is it going to take to slow us down? A minute and six seconds. So we're probably going to want to start it right around 40 seconds, give or take, before this thing. Um, let's hit F5. <laughs> and let's aim ourselves at that. Yeah, we're still going to be in the sun, which is nice. Our solar panels, I should say, are still going to be in the sun. So let's go ahead and crank up time here. Yeah, this is where it gets dangerous. There's our base. There's our base. Let's uh, replace the maneuver node. Let's close the alarm. And actually, I just realized I want to make sure I have the right target here. Um, why does that look wrong? Did I really park it there? I thought it was down here somewhere. Oh, well. Uh... Actually switch to it. Make sure it's the cathane station that I think it is. Which means, of course, I lost my node. Yes, it is the cathane station I thought it was. Okay, let's go back to our ship, which is coming down very quickly. <laughs> I guess we're only three minutes from crashing. Okay, so now we want to set this cathane drilling station as our target. And we want to, again... Make sure we're aimed all correctly. We are. And I think I'm actually going to start at the minute from it uh, that it says to. Because we're going, we're overshooting it. And I don't want to overshoot it by too much. You know what? I'm going to hit a five again. Let's split the difference and do 50 seconds. Actually, no. Let's do a minute. Let's do it right now. <laughs> okay, we're going to kill this maneuver node now. Uh, we need to aim at the station. Just kill our velocity here. Yeah, I think we're doing pretty good. Looks like we're going to come to a stop right over it. If all else fails, if absolutely everything fails, we can dump the habitation module. But I think we'll have plenty of fuel. I think, I think we're going to be perfectly fine here. Okay. Now, there's our target, there's our retrograde marker. Let's get our target above us here on the nav ball. Let's get ourselves aimed at our retrograde, and there we go. So now, this is the way we're aimed. So if I aim this way, that does absolutely nothing for me. I'm basically trying to get us aimed directly at our target, or at least fairly close to it. Okay, that should probably do it. Yeah, that's, that's good enough for a first attempt here. Although we're constantly... Let's go overshoot it a little bit. Okay. 
Okay, things are looking good. <laughs> I hope you're learning something from this, because it's uh, crazy hard to do. <laughs> and then once we get close... Uh, once we get close... I'm going to turn on that zero. Thing to zero out my velocity. <laughs> right here. Okay. I'm actually going to go down to negative four. Let's go and get our landing gear out. We're coming in for a landing. Seem to have plenty of fuel, which is good. Just aiming ourselves at the base here. Yeah, precision landing is one of the uh, one of the skills that doing a cathane operation really teaches you is how to get within a meter <laughs> of your goal uh, and it looks like we're gonna pretty much hit it which is awesome I can always actually zero out my my downward velocity but I think I might be able to just come in for a perfect I want to be within 50 meters of this thing ideally within about 25 Uh, looks like I'm, let's go ahead and zero out our velocity and aim ourselves at the base. Get a little bit closer. Okay, we're definitely within 50, so let's go ahead and kill our velocity and bring it down. First thing we're going to do when we basically get right to the thing here is don't fall over. Don't fall over. I fell over. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we're bringing up a new down a new habitation module. Then we're going to land this guy. Whew! That's annoying. I mean, it's still functional <laughs> as a living quarters, but it's upside down. Um... Okay, but we landed. I mean, I, I'm so I was so mad about that. I I mean, come on, I just landed this ship on the moon. Um, okay, we're gonna quick save again, and we're gonna fill this guy up with fuel. Uh, Bill, get out there. We're gonna go down here and grab this, and we're gonna let go. We're gonna turn on our RCS eventually. Okay, we're just going to fall on the surface. That's fine. And we're going to come over here. Come on. We're going to hope there are no explosions when we do this. We're going to hit H to attach, and we're going to attach this here. Whew. Then, I'm going to come back over here, we're going to land on this RCS tank here. <laughs> and we're going to grab this, oh it's not close enough. Ah, oh I did get it, okay. Or did I?
No, I didn't grab it. I, I, I selected attach. You can apparently select attach on something that you're not grabbed, which is nice to know, but doesn't really help. I wish grab had a key like attach did. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this. <laughs> I mean, it does, but I hit G and it doesn't do anything. Okay, now we're going to come down here. Whoa. And we're going to attach it there. And then we're going to link. Oh, come on. Don't be a moron. <laughs> and we're going to come over here with it. And we're going to... Moment of truth. Don't blow up. Oh, I didn't blow up. Okay. <laughs> now. Get in your habitation module. Actually, don't get in your habitation module. We're going to need you in a second here. Now we're going to switch to this station. Okay, we're going to deploy the drills again. Which... I don't remember what the what the action group was, so I'm just going to deploy them. And I'm going to... These are activated, but I'm also going to activate the monopropellant. And then we are going to... Attack Fuel Balancer. Uh, let's see. The Rockham X, X200s are the ones that we care about. We are going to transfer in and transfer in. And these guys are getting refueled. And we should probably do Oxidizer as well. Transfer in and transfer in. Okay, I'll be back when we have successfully refueled. <laughs> this is kind of cool. Look at this. As we, uh, as the center of mass of our of our base here changes, uh, it slowly moves over to the ship. That's kind of cool. Anyway, what do we got here? We got we're filling these things up. We're at sixty percent. So oh yeah, I'll be back in a, in another minute. Okay, we're back and we've got a hundred percent of everything. So the ship is ready to take off, but first we need to take all these off of it. Um, and I sadly, I couldn't do that while, <laughs> that's an upside down thing. I couldn't do that. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, one thing I don't ever want to do is try to control the ship while they're connected. Okay. <laughs> these things. Where's, oh no, Bill, 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 Bill. What are you doing, Bill? Bill, you fell through the planet. And your eyes are sticking out of your helmet. Um, this is not good. I can't turn on RCS and I can't do this. Um, I can't. I can't switch. <sighs> Let's go ahead and leave anyway, and maybe we can go back and he'll be there. It was only a minute ago. I hate bugs. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and go back to Bill. And hopefully he didn't die. Bill Kerman, let's fly you. Hey, Bill, you're back. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, we're back on the ship here. Yeah, it's kind of annoying, though, that it, it happened like the last quick save was... Let's go ahead and just fill these guys up. For this. The nice thing is, is, is while I have to have the ship in focus in order to fill up the tanks. I do not have to have the ship in focus for Cathane to work. So the Cathane mod is still, um, the drills are gonna still be um, chugging away while the rest of this happens, while, uh, while we do all this stuff. So Bill, back, uh, actually let's go back to Bill. How much jetpack fuel do you got? You have 69%. Uh, let's go ahead and start by sending you over here. <laughs> Skid across the surface of the moon. Come on. Okay, now go EVA. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, you can't get up. You fall in and you can't get up. Oh, okay. I don't know what's going on. Okay, we're going to grab this. I don't know if he can jetpack. No, he can't. While he, while he has that, he can't jetpack, so he's got to run. <laughs> now we're going to attach this to the ground. <laughs> and uh, we're going to get another fuel line thing here. I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm not going to do all this on camera because... Grab. Don't knock the ship over. <laughs> okay, we're going to link it. We are going to... Oh, not link. Uh, we're going to attach it here. And we're going to grab this. Please don't have blown anything up. I'm a little concerned about that landing leg. Oh my god, my landing leg is stuck in the ground. Okay, F9. <laughs> I'm not going to accept that because that was physics. <laughs> the problem is, is all that we just did is gone. Oh my god, our quick save after landing. Okay, you know what? I'm doing this all off camera. Screw it. Um, you, you saw what we did, what I did. You saw that everything works until things stop working. Um... Yeah, I, uh, I'm going to end the episode here. We're going to unlock a tech tree node once uh, we start next episode and um, then start working on uh, probably our Minmus Cathane base uh, and everything. So, hope you enjoyed watching Physics Wonk Out on me. I'm Fifth Horseman, and I will, as always, talk at you later.